Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can create and roll dice in Excel. So let's see how we can do that step by step. First of all, I will start by inserting all the sides of the dice by going into insert and symbols. I will choose symbol here. Then for the font, I will search for Segway. And I will choose Segway UI symbol. Then from here, I can insert the six sides of the dice. And here they are. Number one. Number two, insert. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. Then I will close. Now I have the six sides of the dice. Then I, I will cut them and put them here in the middle somewhere. And now I will put each one of these sides on a different cell. I will go into data, next two columns, then fixed width. I will go on to next and from here I can create break lines between these sides. So one, two, three, four, five and six and press next. And I will press finish. I can see that these two remained in the same cell because the line break between them was not in the middle so I will create a space for them, cut and paste. Here I will select the three, cut it and paste it here. So now I have each of these numbers in one cell. Let me just center them. Then I will number each one of these. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now in order to choose randomly between one and six, I will use a function called rand between. It asks me for the bottom number and the top number. So the bottom number is one, and the top number is 6. So this is the first dice. But also I want another dice. So I will do the same thing. Rand between 1, 6. So each one of these represents a dice. But instead of seeing them as numbers, I want to see them as dice. So how to do that? Here I will create a function called edge lookup. And the lookup value is the one in this cell, G14. The table array is here. And you have to make sure always that the numbers are above the dice because in the edge lookup, the lookup value should be in the row on the top. Row index none. So where are we searching for the value? It's in row number two. Range lookup. False because we want exact match. Then press enter. So you can see that we got this for number one. Also the same thing for this cell equals edge lookup I14 I will choose this row two and false so now I have these two dice and now I want to copy this one 
and go on to another sheet and paste it here but I want to paste it as a linked picture I will do the same thing for this dice and I will paste it here as a linked picture and as you can see whatever the numbers here they will be seen here and I want to make this a bit bigger same for this one and now I, I can format the picture for example I can crop and just keep the dice I will do the same for this picture in order to remove the borders around the dice I can make them bigger And I can go into page layout and remove the grid lines from here by unchecking the view. So you can see now it's a white background. And now how can we roll the dice? Simply we can press F9. And as you can see we got 1 and 1 which are here. So this sheet will be the sheet that's generating the values and this sheet is just like a visualization for the dice only I can press F9 again and I got 3 and 4 I press it again 3 and 6 I can keep pressing and getting different values for the dice but let's say for example we don't want to press F9 and we want to press a button which will roll the dice so let me show you how you can do that you can go into developer and if you don't have developer you can right click on the ribbon customize the ribbon and from here you can check the developer to get the developer tab from developer I go into the controls insert and from here I will insert a button then I will draw the button that I want and I will call it roll the dice and from here I can also name it roll the dice but this button still does not make any comment so I can press right click on it assign macro new And here I can put this function active cell dot calculate then I will close and now every time I press on on roll the dice you can see that the dice will roll as if I am pressing F9 of course I can also format this control to make it look in a better way like making the font bigger I can also change the color I can change the font size alignment and everything inside it but the important thing is that now you can create a button to roll the dice so let's try it again here you go I got six and five one and three and now you can use this dice in case you don't have physical dice to roll while playing with friends or family. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learned something new and now you can create your own dice. You can create two, three or hundreds of dice depending on how much you need. Don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to my channel to always stay supporting my content.
and to stay updated about my previous and upcoming videos.